So this is Charlie from uh, Fox 2 Detroit News, okay? And he knows me. He's interviewed me uh, multiple times in every country. Everybody knows Leo. Yeah. Everyone knows Leo. Yeah, everybody knows Leo. And he's coming over and he, he calls me right away. Charlie, we're good friends now. And uh, he was the first one on the scene this morning. It went worldwide. And my wife said, hey, it's Charlie. He's, uh, he's got the scoop. It's, what are you talking about? The police moved in. I'm glad Fox 2 got the scoop because he got world recognition for this one, boys. And if you don't know who Charlie is in Detroit... Say something, Charlie. Here we go. All right. Well, thank you, Leo. Yeah, it was fun being over here in uh, Windsor for the last three days or so. Uh, we may be back. I hope that we will be back, but uh, it's all good here. Leo, continue doing what you're doing, okay? All right, Charlie. All right. Stay safe and stay warm, too. All thank, right? Thanks, right. brother. Thank you. you. Yeah, that's funny. Bye-bye. Take yeah. care now. So Bye. I get to interview Fox. <laughs> we got Rob. Uh, we got everybody here. Jake, we're in our truck. Warming up here at the Cubsy and here in line. There's John. John Mahoody. Mahoody, Mahoody, Mahoody. And we got Dustin in the back seat. We're using this as the command post for the mouth of the south. If you're just tuning in, I just did the uh, Charlie from Fox 2, he, who knows who I am in this town, just seen me and he's waving. I said, I got to get him on live here. So I said, hey, you know what? You got to watch the beginning of it. You'll love it. But I am the mouth of the South, the man without a plan, the master of disaster. Call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> Especially tomorrow at Super Bowl. But it's still going on here. There's a lot of people down uh, towards Gerardo and uh, here on church. And I'm out here on church here. And I know a lot of people down here, so if you want to come down here and uh, spend some time with the mouth of the South. This is where I'm at. I'm not going anywhere. I won't be uh, intimidated. I won't be bullied. Okay. When you have three easy fundamentals in the charter that are being violated, one's freedom of speech, one's freedom of thought, and the biggest one's freedom. Please have it blocked off. You can't even get gas. You can come down and get a car wash, though. No, Your Honor. Backwards don't like oh, that. Okay, Rob, yeah. get in there. And I've worked with Rob for a few years at uh, Concourse. Great guy. So if you're just tuning in, you're going to want to watch the beginning of this video where uh, I'm interviewing Charlie from Fox 2. You see me in my truck warming up. He's hey, Leo. I said, I got to get this guy on Facebook Live. Trying to get him to sit in the truck and get warm, but he was on his way out. But it's pretty funny how I know all the media gallery on this side of the border almost by me. They know me by name, and I know them by name, too. Uh, Windsor Star, AM800, CBC, CTV. I know all the, all the players behind the scenes, right? And they just want to try and give you guys a story, but when you got editors behind it, you can't get the uh, everything uh polished at the end of the day, right? They got to take it upstairs, polish it, and give it to you the way that they want to give it to you. I'm giving it to you straight. Like it, love it, or hate it, I don't give a shit. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just bringing you the messages. It used to be that video in Dearborn where they would say, edit it out, edit it out. In Dearborn, they'd edit it out? No, no, they, there was guys that made this, Arab guys in Dearborn used to make these videos back in the day. And their main saying was edited out, edited the way he said it was a little. When I was a kid, we didn't have many immigrants coming across in this country, but this guy here, Johnny, one of the best guys I ever met, I think he came from uh, Iraq, right? Well, Lebanon. Lebanon, okay. Oh. Well, my parents did, I was born here. Yeah, your parents came from Lebanon, you grew up in the same neighborhood as us, great businessman, owned Odell's uh, clothing and apparel there on uh, Wyandotte in, where was it, Goyu? Yeah. Wyandotte and Goyu when we were kids. Everybody knows Johnny. Great guy. He's still in Windsor. And I'm glad to have him as a buddy. Yes, sir. But even like the uh, the, the Cambodians and Vietnamese when they came across and went to Low, right? Awesome. Uh, I became friends with a lot of those guys. Good people. They're really good people. Hard workers. And I still bump into people all the time, right? And uh, they're just great people. The Filipino community is great. So 
So when we have a prime minister call us racist or misogynist, I never knew the meaning, and uh, I had to look it up in the dictionary. I thought a misogynist was something when you went to a massage parlor and they did something did something to you, right? Uh, well, that's not the case. Misogynist is a womanizer racist. I don't see that down here, folks. And I hear mainstream media spewing off uh, that uh, we're a bunch of uh, racists down here. Violent. They're, and, and violent. They're saying that, right? No but I, violence at all. I see all walks of life down here. How about you, Johnny? Diversity, my friend. Diversity. Diversity. That's the word. Everybody from every walk of life is down here. Supporting each other. People with masks, we're not discriminating. Nope. Wear your mask if you feel safe. You want to wear a mask? Take the shot if you feel safe. Right. Just don't take the choice from the people. I think a lot of people are wearing a mask right now because it's keeping her face warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> keeping her face warm. So I'm warming up. I'm warming up in the truck because it's... Uh, Ottawa cold out here today, actually. Yeah, that's cool. My barometer says minus six. With the wind chill, minus 15. For sure. The wind's windy down there. So dress for it if you're coming down. And the barometric pressure is coming in from the southeast. It's pretty crazy. I'm trying to grab myself a coffee, though. Yeah, good luck, man. Probably another one. You're getting a coffee? Yeah. Hey Dustin, nice meeting you, man. Well, man, hope to see you soon. I'll be yeah. back for sure. So the whole world's watching this as it unfolds, right? Uh, and the border is still closed. I'm going to be here for this. Yeah. Larry Guitar is watching. Jake Freeman is watching. I have my wife's phone, so I don't have anything blown up. I'll put you on Facebook Live. Guy just put his finger like it was a gun to my head, said, "Give me all your money." You have to talk to my wife on that one. I'm, I'm broke. That's why I'm out here protesting. Your wife likes me more than she likes. I'm you. so broke. I, I don't even. I can't even afford to protest. I'm, I'm so, I'm so broke. I gotta go work for this guy here. So broke you can't pay. And he, and he owns uh, Nunes. Noon's building and maintenance. Yeah, that's him. He's in everybody's business. Sean Guthrie's watching. Remember Sean? Yeah. What up, Sean? Johnny says hi, Sean. What's up, buddy? He's got the best seat in the house right here. It's nice and warm. Yeah. I don't blame him. He see me sitting in my truck. He's like, get in here, man. Get out of the cold. Relax. So if you're just tuning in now, you're going to want to watch the beginning of this. Charlie from Fox 2 came up to my truck. He's like, hey, Leo, man, fuck you. He loves me. He loves me. But it's pretty funny when I can get interviews with uh, mainstream media on Facebook Live, and they comment. They know who you are. Chris Ensing did one, too. Guy from Global News uh, from Toronto did one, too. But it is what it is. I like to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. We got the little kid protesters here on the corner of uh, Tecumseh and here on church. It is blocked off both ways. You're going down there? Yeah. You guys are brave. It's cold. Yeah, the kids haven't had so much fun. I know. Just to see the kids, just to see kids with their families out here. The Canadian flags. The beeping of the horns. It's a sense of uh, freedom. And I haven't felt that sense in a while. Well, I have. I've been feeling it now for going on three weeks here with the run up in Toronto, Ottawa two weekends in a row, right? So I've been feeling it. I've, I feel really free now. If you want to feel free, you know what to do. Get out here and feel it. The police aren't doing too much. They just, 
couple of them were getting pretty ignorant down there at the front line. I had to leave. I was going to lose my cool. So, you know, I got to stay calm, cool, and collective. And like I said, my brother's a war hero. Oh, there it is. My brother's a war hero, okay? And uh, the shit he's been through for this country and the things he does for this country and to have police officers that probably are not even our police officers. It's uh, Homeland Security guys dressed up as our police officers because our police officers are chill down here. The ones on the front line made me dis dis made me disgusted. You know, they got automatic weapons, tear gas can uh, canisters, all kinds of shit. Snipers on roofs. There's little kids down here, man. There's a lot of people streaming down here too, so don't just watch my shit, watch everybody's. Here we go. Hey, Leo, I was watching you at home. You watched me at home? I was watching you at home before I left. And that's what, great job, man. That's what got you down here? Yeah, you're doing a great job. All right, guys. So I know a lot of people, this social media shit's blowing, uh, blowing my brand up, whatever brand that is, the truth brand. And it's a good thing. Because like I said, everybody in this town knows I'm no slouch. I will not fold. I will not to, bend. Going to Timmy's, you want a coffee or anything? Yeah, I'll take a large double-double, please. Anything? Thank you. Thanks. I will not slouch. I will not fold. My shoulders are like boulders. I won't be intimidated. And everybody in this town knows that. I don't back down for anybody, man. If I believe in what I'm doing is right, I stand up for what I believe is right. Just be peaceful about it. There's a lot of people, I'm telling you, there's a lot of people down here. I wish I had a drone. I'd fly it down uh, here on Church Road. You'd be very, very impressed. And it seems like a lot more people are watching social media now, and uh, they're being, they're they're awakening to the what's going on here, and they're coming down here. You want to do a Facebook Live and get ten thousand people watching all at once, sharing it? That's a statement. But I'm happy for Charlie from Fox 2, who is the only reporter out there at 8, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, in the cold, when the shit happened, because he filmed it, he had it. He got the scoop. The rest of the reporters went into their nice, warm motel, thinking it wasn't going to go on till later on today. It went on this morning, and for every reaction, for every action, there's an a, a reaction. And this is the reaction, folks. Don't worry about trucks, it's humans now. So this Shell gas station has just become a prime property. You can't get gas here. There's people parked in the in the car washes that haven't moved all day. So if this don't wake up the premier, I heard he went snowmobiling the other night, and uh, actually that was mainstream media, CTV that questioned him on it and he admitted it yeah I was snow well
So that injunction and horn beeping that they got up in Ottawa, that follows all across Canada, I think. Uh, don't seem to be working here. Still going on. So back to Ford. CTV uncovered that he, uh, when the uh, state of emergency came out, he was at his cottage snowmobiling. That's why he couldn't be found for a couple of days. Well, I've been getting, receiving phone calls and I've been answering people. I'm sure you have. So there's a, a prime example of a useless leader, right? Amherstburg Detachment. That's the new Amherstburg Police Detachment cars. So there has been no police harassment, just uh, intimidation by the force itself of police center here in the uh, tanks, the mini tanks that they have, and the machine guns, and the tear gas canisters, snipers on the roof, snipers on the knoll, the grassy knoll. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane if you ask me. Yeah, the Studio 4 right there. Did you ever work there, John? Studio? Yeah. Hell no. No? That was me, Jake, <laughs> Greg, Warren. Have all I been the... there? That's a different question. Yeah, we all used to work there when we were kids. I'm not going to tell you what I did there. It was filthy. But nothing's changing here, folks, by the looks of it. <clears throat> More people are coming. Wonder what the mayor thinks of this. So Shell gas station's getting uh, some advertisement. I'll tell you what it says on the sign. Regular, just regular, is $1.559, and diesel's $164.9. I drive diesel. Diesel's never been past gas in years. So that's just regular. Premium's at a buck eighty. So what used to cost you uh, sixty dollars to fill up your little car is now one hundred twenty. If you own a truck, in the upwards of depending on the size of the tank, it could be one hundred and eighty or more. Hundred liters of uh, diesel is one sixty four nine. Somebody just gave me a heads up. Heads up for what? I don't know. Our head's gonna roll. The whole world's watching. Yeah, take a seat. See if they're moving the people. Because last time I was down there, there was zero movement here. Zipola. So it turned into a truck blockade, is now a human parade. And if you're just tuning in now, watch the beginning of this video when I'm, um, I'm off live. And I actually got to interview Charlie from Fox 2 who seen me in my truck warming up and he came up and he's like, hey Leo man. Which is pretty funny. Hey, Dustin Bernal, do you got that drone in the air? 
I want to see the footage. Donnie, get your drone in here. Got the PPC hat. They moving? Barely. They're, Barely. They're past the overpass down there. Oh, so they, but not 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 much far past. It. So they are making some. Nice and warm in here, eh, bro? Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. We could film all day long here. Because it's all coming this way eventually. Yeah, gas is freaking ridiculous. I'm reading that comment. You're right on that one. Well, they said it today on, on the news. It's going up four cents. Well, I like to eat like everybody else. And uh, you have one kid, eh, Johnny? I got, uh, I got three. And my daughter's boyfriends are always every Sunday coming over. My grocery bill went from about 300 bucks a week to 600 bucks a week. Crazy. And for a little. Yeah, we still eat, we eat the way we want to eat, but still, we're paying double now. Yeah. Not cheap to eat anymore. The price of a house for your kids is untouchable. An $800,000 mortgage, they'll be paying it for 60 years. For a $100,000 home. Yeah, for a home that was only $100,000 in this city three years ago. And you pay tax on water, you pay tax on air. You're paying tax on everything, man. You buy a, buy a brand new truck, any, any vehicle. You buy it, you pay tax, you sell it, you pay tax. Where's all this money going? Follow the money. And this bridge closure just pissed off a lot of people. And we've seen the true colors with the president of the 444 talking to the prime minister. The prime minister didn't even give the convoy the time of day but he gave the 444 lots of time and this is a response so when they have their labor marches and everything else I'll take no part in it anymore If you ended the mandates, would this go away? I think it would. But there's a lot a lot of other issues here, right? You got people making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year that gotta move back into their parents' house because it's just not enough. Three years ago, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year, you're living like a king. So the blue collar just became, is there even, even a class for the blue collar anymore? If you're not making a hundred thousand, six figures a year, you're not getting by. Hey, one of Hey, tell everybody where you're from. I'm from Windsor, Ontario. That's right, Dwayne. And I've known Dwayne for a long time. Very long time. What do you think of this, Dwayne? Did yeah, you go down? Crazy. Yeah, I went all the way down. A lot there. of people down there, yeah. eh? Just keeps keeps flooding with people. You cold? Oh, yeah. Don't go back. Jump in the back. Shopping, yeah. Oh, you got to do shopping? Yeah. Are you out here till all night? Uh, yeah, I'm here for a while. 
a bit longer. Back a little later. Are those two cops with the uh, Canadian flag on there, fucking? No. Sitting right here in this truck? I don't know if these are cops. Put the Canadian flag on. Hey, Leo. Okay, brother. But heavy police presence here in Windsor, Ontario. Unprecedented. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Because it, it looks like uh, it's it's not going to stop here. This is going on all across the country, actually. We got Rip from Yellowstone crossing the street right now with the cowboy hat and the beard. Rip. My favorite character. My favorite character, too. He's always got to take somebody to the train station, Rip. If you don't know the show, what we're talking about, better watch it. Indulge, it's on Paramount. And then the other one, 1883. Is he. Well, it's about that family in 1883 coming up, right? Oh, really? oh yeah, yeah, that's really good. I know Yellowstone's on uh, Prime. Sam Elliott plays uh, <laughs> plays a role, big role. I'm right into that that series too, 1883, the Dutton family. How's it going at the bridge? Hey. If you watched the videos earlier, it's nothing's really changed. I guess they gained uh, 20 feet in the last four hours. But they are eventually going to try and push everybody back to here. They haven't kettled yet. Just a, a show of uh, force, right? It, it's pretty intimidating, actually. I can't be down here. It makes me sick. I gotta stay calm, cool, and collective. But you can see the police that know who I am. They're just salivating like dogs. They want to put the put the mouth of the salt in a cage. Try and shut this guy up. Oh, <laughs> he's got twelve. 12 coffees <laughs> and his kids got oh wait got, they got four 12 he's got 16 coffees 16 coffees what a roll true Canadians but dress for the occasion if you're coming down here folks Dustin, LaSalle police, or is that Cleveland? Is that Cle uh, Cleveland police? I think that's LaSalle. Cleveland, we have a problem. Yeah, they're dressed up like the cars. They got Ontario Do they? That'd be funny if we had Houston police here. Well, they got the... So at Micmac Park, I can't even get down there. They have tow trucks from Belleville, Michigan over here. Yeah, oh, Chatham Kent. About an hour out, hour and 20 minutes out from Windsor. I see London police. RCMP, Windsor PD. Oh, you did see the RCMP? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're the ones all dressed in the uh, tack, tack gear. There's people in uh, regular clothes too, right? There's a cop right there going to the, the, the station. Just plain, they got plain clothes cops out there too. Yeah. So this is not ending.
3.30 in the afternoon. And with the court injunction, this has just become the biggest peaceful act of civil disobedience that I've ever seen in my life. I'm at Tecumseh in Huron Church. That's big rock pile is where the Studio 4 was. Some vehicles are moving down here in line because they're running out of gas. So they got to get some gas. Can you guys see all right? Freedom. There's a lot of people with uh, a lot of discontent for the all three levels of government right now. And I used to work eight hours a day. Now I have to work 12 to make ends meet. Is that the right, is that the right way for Canadians to live? Some days I work 13, 14, 15 hour shifts. You could ask my wife. I'll go in at three o'clock in the afternoon and leave at 7 a.m. So I'm a little I'm a little frustrated. And I pay my taxes. Mouth of the South. Mouth of the South, what's going on? Right you alright? Right Fuck, I'm fine in my truck. <laughs> yeah, give them out. Don't go, don't go like hotcakes down there for you guys. So he's bringing a box of hand warmers for people. And it is almost 3.30 p.m., day six, the siege of the Detroit border. I'm calling it the Battle of Fort Detroit. Heard the anti-protesters were supposed to show up today. They reneged. But they have a right to speak too. Everybody does in this country. I respect everybody's comments. Negative, good. Or are these anti-protesters? Anti yeah. 
but everybody has a right to speak in this country. Like I said, I'm not going to discriminate. You wear a mask, you feel safe with a mask, so wear a mask. You feel safe with the shots, take the shots. I took the shots. But when people are losing their livelihoods over over the shots, and if they don't take them, they lose their jobs. That's where you draw the line. The Prime Minister would have probably been more successful on his campaign for vaccines if it would have been done willingly uh, and by choice. Instead of forcing it. Because this is what you get when you force stuff, right? Double, double. Oh, I thank you, man. Hey, nice. this gentleman just brought me a coffee. You're doing a great job, Leo. Thank you, brother. I was watching at home. Were you? Yeah. So I motivated Jay. This yeah. video, you, my videos. Got my ass off the couch. There you go. <laughs> and how do you feel? You're getting some exercise today. Yeah, I've been up and down a couple of times. Yeah. My daughter. Your daughter? You're getting a few mile hike because the only way in's from Tecumseh and uh, Huron Church. Yeah. So you got to. From Essex. You drove in from Essex. Yeah. Right on. And a lot of people are. Thanks, brother. What's your name? Mark. Mark from Essex. Mark from Essex, man. Yeah. Awesome. Down there, let's not talk to everybody. Oh yeah, if I have. To. Right. Keep it up. Thanks, brother. Total stranger. Total stranger buys me a coffee. Loves the videos I'm doing. I guess. Telling the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing for anybody. I want the bridge open. I wanted the bridge open Monday. I'm not the brightest guy in the world. I'll admit to that. But I could see I could see the writing on the wall that was going to happen after Ottawa. Piping hot. Oh, yeah. Piping hot. I have been so busy over there. For Tim Hortons? No. Even his gas station. Yeah, they're not selling gas. But if uh, a bottle of water goes for $2, that's a lot more than petrol, and they're killing it. Water, juice, chocolate bars, chips, that kind of shit, eh? Yeah, somebody just said I'm brave. It's not that I'm brave. When you see the writing on the wall and nobody's listening and they're the ones putting it on the wall, it's time to wake up. No, the police have the gas station blocked off. You can't even get into it. And when we're out here, there's a medium in the road, so you can't even get to the gas station if you wanted gas.
when you see police buildups like this and they have the uh, the weaponry and the big trucks APCs is what I'd call them it's pretty alarming but the people came out right it, like I said it turned into a truck protest into a, a, a human protest now I heard Drew, Dil Drew Dilkins was on somebody's Facebook Live watching and people were just riddling him. I'm going to find that Facebook Live and watch it. Hey, I just want to give a shout out to my buddy Daryl Walton up in Barrie. Good watching, pal. Anything going on in Barry? No. Oh, he's just watching it live all morning. So whoever organized this, right, uh, strategically smart play. And the funny thing is, I still don't know who organized it. And if I did know, I wouldn't tell you. But I don't, honestly. It's a collective of the people. Yeah, there's no crew chiefs that I've seen. Anybody, I, I don't think anybody wants to take responsibility for this one. You see what they're doing to uh, people up in Toronto. They're seizing their bank accounts and email transfers and GoFundMes and all kinds of shit. I've never seen anything like it in my life. So now the police have the road at Felix in Tecumseh Road barged off. I haven't heard any statements from the mayor. Only from last night. But why would you call the people mentally ill? These are your people. These are the people that elected you. A lot of these people elected you. What's going on? You all right? Easy guy to find, man. I'm, e I'm easy? No, you weren't. No? Where, where's Clarence? He saw it down at the other end. That's where the thing is? Yeah, with all the police down there. Uh, I never seen him come back up. All right. My aunt said he was like, at the side of the basics. Everyone was telling me you were uh, with him. I was. <laughs> no. No, no, I was with him. Oh, yeah, uh, we split ways and then... Uh, he might be parked on that side. That's probably why I didn't see him. Yeah. You going back down? No, I'm going to stick around here and watch it. I've been doing uh, shit. I get 50 miles on my boots in the last three I'm weeks on, between Ottawa and here. I'm on TikTok. It keeps fluctuating, though. I think uh, when you get closer down there, they mess with the signal. Thanks a lot, buddy. Oh, you're watching me live over there. All the time. There you go. <laughs> Angela Parrot. How are you? 
did you watch this the be the beginning of this one when I interviewed uh, Charlie from Fox Two? He came into my truck. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, when it's all done, go back and watch the beginning of it. It's comical. Yeah, I am on. I'm just covering the story. I'm just covering it the way it is, right? So. I'm not inciting anything. I heard so much bullshit. It's making me sick. Yeah, I mean. Bye, Angela. No, no, I'm good. Somebody just bought me a coffee. If you could take a piss for me, I'd let you do that. <laughs> so you were in Ottawa, eh? Yeah, Ottawa was a trip and a half. But it must have been crazy down there because going down there is crazy. I was expecting people, but not like that. The first week, I was like, okay, if this many showed up this week at minus 28, watch next weekend. And it was minus 18, and triple the people showed up. It's, they should just get rid of the mandates. It's inevitable. Yeah, you get rid of the mandates, this all goes away, right? Buddy, it's inevitable. I don't know why they just don't do it right now. Right. It makes no sense. The people have spoken. He's just not listening. Just it's his way or no way. It's like they just want people to keep suffering from mental health. Yeah. Easy fix. An easy fix to this. Yeah, that's what they say. Everybody that comes out of their house now are mentally ill. Well, even me right now being down here, it's kind of weird being around all these people, but it's nice. You see them smiling, bro, all the Canadian flags. 100%. I'm going to walk down there, buddy. Okay, brother. I'm just sitting in my truck. People know where I'm filming live from. Let's let's go, Brandon. Thanks, brother. Hey, you had uh, Tucker Carlson on watching hey, me. <laughs> What's that? Tucker Carlson was watching me. On you last night. Was he? Yeah. No, he wasn't. He was so. Oh, Tucker Carlson was watching my life. Yeah. I'm looking for the. Uh, well, that's all right. I'm looking for the NBC version. They're they're down here somewhere. I'll make sure they see my flag. Have you guys been down to the other end? No, we're just getting here. Oh, go, you got to go check that out. That's yeah, a sight to see. You'll see them all down there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Fox. Well, Fox just left. He did his last interview with me in my truck right here, Charlie. Yeah, we've seen... Uh, it was good, though, right? Saying, uh, I like him. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, he knows He knows who to call when he comes to win. I'll tell you, Fox has been doing great shit for us at night. Well, they're, they, they got the scoop this morning. Yeah. Oh, they were yeah. the first ones out. Oh, yeah, you should have heard him giving it to fucking Geraldo today. <laughs> <laughs> Half a mile yeah. by the bridge. Is the bridge open yet? Not, coming Not the bridge, the uh, sky bridge cross yeah. crosswalk. You go down there, you'll see it all. You're going to go, whoa, there's a lot of people down there. Yeah. Really, eh? Yeah. Looks like not too many people here on the corner now, eh? Everyone's going in there to eat. And... Yeah. Oh, are they? Yeah, there's a Did you see my shot out? That's the trailer. No. Oh, nice. I'll have to go and investigate. Show the people what's going on down here. But if Tucker Carlson's talking and, and watching my videos, yeah, buddy, that's awesome. Yeah, I was shot. I like Tuck. I like that Tucker Carlson, eh? Yeah, oh yeah, he tells it like it is. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, I seen his name pop up last night. I was like, holy shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading down there. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, brother. Bye, guys. Thank you. Uh, not sure yet. I'll be working. Everybody asking uh, if I need anything. Everything's all good in the hood. I told the wife I'd only be an hour. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Right. Yeah. Tucker Carlson should have the mouth of the salt on the show. I'm a realist. You see what I'm seeing?
I'm a product of this neighborhood, actually. Born on Wellington, not far away from here. And I still live in the neighborhood. Yeah, a lot of people would, this morning, shit, I couldn't believe I had over 10,000 viewers or 11,000 viewers all at once on here. Tuning in. Everybody was waiting for the mouth of the south. But the guy who first started doing I think, uh, was it Rob Malosh? When I opened up uh, Facebook Live, I was like, oh, yeah, look at this. He went viral this morning. He was one of the first lives to open up down there. But I was down here till 2.30 in the morning and I froze my gonads off. It took me an hour to unthaw. But it was well worth it. was it Ken Malosh who had that video but he had the scoop live and he, 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 the truth teller my wife lent me her phone she took my phone she's got unlimited data we'll see how it rolls I got to get away from wind. I'm just warming up, Joe. Don't worry. I'm warming up. Share this video. As I hit a thousand, I'm going to get out of my truck and I'm going to go for another little walk. Vets are holding the line now. That's awesome. I've always stood with the vet, the vets, the indigenous, women's rights, the homeless. Yeah, I've, uh, I've st stood for a lot of things with a lot of different people in my life. I stand for freedom. Disgruntled or what? Look at this shit. Wow. And that was a guy with a mask on in his car. You guys catch all that? The only act of aggression that I've saw. Wow. I'll have to rewind that one later and watch it. I know that guy. With the guy at the mask? Yeah. Sandro. No, I got one, brother. <laughs> Everybody keeps asking me, how you been? <laughs> yep, I just left the office. Jump in. So, uh, jump in. That's awesome. Oh. I won't say your last name. This oh, is Leopard. Yeah, Leopard. This is Leopard. This is Johnny. Hey, Johnny, what's up, brother? How you doing, how you doing man? Good to see you. The leopard's in the house. Oh, nice and warm in here. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm sitting in here. It's nice and warm. But well, I'll, I don't know. What do you think, boys? Well, the bridge is not open. No. It went from uh, trucker's protest to a uh, human convoy. The cops a little bit of credit that they kept it somewhat civil. Oh, if, you, if you go down to the other end, you'll see the aggression. The, 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 the aggressional 
the, the aggression on the cops' faces down there. They just want to go in, right? Well, those are the bad ones that all have been training for this for 10 years and never had anything, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With their war faces on and oh, sickening. Yeah. You got little kids down there, all so, walks of life, flags, it's peaceful. But yet these guys come uh, with uh, intimidating snipers, snipers, on, the roof, snipers yeah. on the roof, machine guns. Machine gun and a turret. Are you kidding me? Yeah, machine gun and a turret. That's funny. Well, I, I don't know, politically suicide, uh, the political suicide of this will come for the mayor, for sure. Fox News will have this live and loud throughout. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which will play even Tomorrow we'll be talking about. So we got uh, some guys from India protested. Those are the racists. Those are the white supremacists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they, they yeah. say we're white, uh, misogynist, white supremacists. There's walks of all life, all cultures down here. Enjoy it. I like it. I really do. Okay, I'm going to get out. I'm going to start walking around. Get the fluids moving. Ready, Johnny? Yeah, I gotta head out. I gotta head out. My girlfriend's heading over. We get that all year long now. Gotcha. <laughs> oh yeah, I got her. Oh yeah. How's things going, buddy? Yeah, man. You good? You're doing a good job with you, man. Doing yeah. Job. You still stop by Monday, eh? I'll stop by and see you Monday. Yeah, when you get that cash, where are you going to Florida? Hey. Where are you going to in Florida? In Florida? Yeah, you still going to Florida? Yeah. No, fuck. I wish. No, I'm on. I'm on the no-fly zone. So there's food over here. Check this out. If you haven't seen it, we're at the corner at Tecumseh and uh, here on Church. Let's see if they're making any moves. A lot of people down there. I know, hey, that's a remarkable yeah, thing. It's cold. Five degrees. We went through uh, yeah. an area. Yeah. Well, it was minus 28 in Ottawa the first weekend. I went minus 18 the second. It didn't deter uh, deter the people at all, eh? I know. It's a different type of cold. Yeah, it is, but it's, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, when you breathe there at minus 28, there was no droplets at all. You don't need a mask in Ottawa with that weather. Yeah. Everything froze, even my eyelids. <laughs> Let's check out the food. You don't want when you're good. Yeah, I'm good. All right, I'll see you Monday. Okay, Come brother. Up to the third floor, right? Okay, leopard. Okay. What's going on, guys? Back again, eh? Oh yeah, beautiful dog. The service dog. Love it. Like Love it. Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? Good. How far are they down there? Uh, pretty good. You guys are going to want to watch this video after I I, 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 I tag off. Yeah. The uh, Charlie from Fox 2 stuck his head right in my yeah, truck. That and yeah, I just seen that. Yeah, yeah that's awesome, eh? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I get to interview Fox. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Thanks, man. You too. What the heck is that? Veggie burgers. No, I'm just kidding. They're uh, chicken burgers filled with green stuff, or I mean, not green stuff, <laughs> uh, red stuff. Red That's red awesome, stuff. guys. Well, no, we're just waiting on more patties and stuff. So. <laughs> it's nice for the grocery stores right across the street, eh? And the fuel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're not. They're not taking your fuel away. You got fucking shell right here. Do you? Good, good. They didn't interview me. I was talking to this guy at 2.30 in the morning out here last night, right? No, I got here at lunch. Okay, it was the wrong guy. Sorry. <laughs> Looked just like you. But I was right here in this spot at 2.30 in the morning. Maybe, Remember? Maybe you were here. <laughs> yeah. The last guys I talked to. And they didn't put anything. Yeah, so I'm going to come down here today and film. Interview me. Because it didn't, it didn't suit them. No, 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 no,
Just awesome, guys. Good things don't happen overnight. How are you making out? What do you think of this? So I went from convoy to human convoy. <laughs> In a hurry. Are they, the police moving people back, do you know yet? Yeah, they only got about 400 feet, eh? Yeah. 300 feet. People got a few feet back now, apparently. So. They moved back? Yeah, they're, they're pushing the police back? Well, uh, just slowly, they're moving the crowd in, so they only got like four or five feet now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Five feet is still in. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to take it back. At this rate, it's going to take four days to get from uh, Gerardo and here on Church to Tecumseh Road. And that's only two lights away. They're going to take all the people away. They're all going to be arrested. The crime minister, Blackface. Justin Castro. So we got a veteran hat here. We got a veteran here. Who'd you serve with? Brandon, my brother's uh, reservist. Yeah, I was a reservist with the Essex Ted Scottish once upon a time here in Windsor. My brother's a dragoon. He's been to Afghanistan a couple times on tour. Uh, Yugoslavia there when it's just old enough that I predate all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. My time was Yugoslavia, but I didn't go over. You didn't go over, eh? No. Well, thank you for your service, brother. And you, and you uh, for yours. Hey. There's a lot more of us veterans out here. Well, I'm not a veteran. I was just a reservist, uh, well, part timer, but you know what? wasn't I regular. Say I'm not a veteran either. And but lectured and lectured and lectured. Yeah. By those that went over. And oh, for sure. They, you know, they finally convinced me to start saying I'm a veteran because the bottom line is you swore the oath and you agreed to sign that line. That's right. And oh, yeah, anything. As a reservist, I could have been drafted to go anywhere at that point in time, right? But, but I think this is where the rubber meets the road, right? Like, this is the Bill of Rights. This is the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. This is segregation in our society. So if we swore an oath then... Step up now, come up, show up. It's not just a shot. So many of our fellow military, active, veterans, you name it, are just shrugging this off as why aren't these people just taking this shot? It's not about the shot anymore. That's right. It's a matter of choice. People losing their jobs over coercion. This is segregation of our society. This is blatant criminal acts by our governments. And what we're doing here is lawful assembly. And we're protesting for our rights, our freedom of movement, our freedom to pursue the ability to earn a living, our freedom to assemble, our freedom to associate. If we don't draw this line and we don't exercise our rights, they're going to continue to erode them. So, if you sworn off at one time, come and stand by the rest of these citizens. We number in the millions. That's this right. Is, Windsor's a small town, a couple hundred thousand people. But there's a good turnout today. <laughs> that border, there's, there's thousands of people. Taking shifts at this point. Right, and that border is still shut down, so it is what it is. Thank you again. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you for your service. Terry, my good buddy. Okay, I gotta go, guys. I'm live, but I gotta go because my wife's running out of data here, also. So, ciao for now. I'll keep you guys uh, tuned. Awesome.